Let me show you the difference between Scheveningen's Violet and Dioxazine Mauve. We will be using them as a pair of warm and cool violets. When diluted with some mineral spirit, we can see the true shade of these colors. Scheveningen's Violet is a beautiful and saturated color. For a violet, it has a very warm undertone, drawing towards a purple with a red shade. It is a single pigment color with a good tinting strength and is semi-opaque. When we dilute the dioxazine mauve with the same spirit, we see a totally different color that is on the other side of the purple spectrum. It is a deep violet with a warm blue shade. It is much darker and almost a blackish purple. Dioxazine is a very strong color. It has such a high tinting strength that we have to be careful in the amounts we use. It is a single pigment also and is opaque. Scheveningen's violet with titanium white gives delicate purples that are softly muted and quite a bit cooler than we just saw with the spirit. But here the undertone is still warm and reddish. If we add a lot of titanium white, our purples start to get more pale. On the other hand, we have the dioxazine mauve, which is a much stronger pigment. We start with double the amount of white to keep the violet mixes more balanced. And even then we see that the violets we get are still quite saturated. We get clear and punchy purples with a cool and bluish undertone. Adding some Old Holland Magenta will gently warm up our Scheveningen's Violet. Although Magenta in itself is a cooler red color, it still will push our Violet mixes to a warmer and more reddish undertone. Also, it will increase the pop and saturation of our mixes, giving beautiful, lively, warm purples. Warming up the fairly dominant dioxazine mauve, we again start with a double amount of Old Holland Magenta. We see the undertone warming up, moving from bluish to reddish, and giving us full and vivid violets. Now let's cool the color temperature down a bit. When we mix Scheveningen's Violet with Cobalt Blue Turquoise, a wonderful cool and saturated green-blue pigment, we see the color temperature shifting right away, towards blue violets. Here the saturation gets muted quite a lot, giving purples with a much more blue-grayish undertone. The same turquoise does not mute down the dioxazine mauve so much, because of its dominant tinting strength. But we do see the color temperature getting cooler, giving violets with a more bluish undertone. So Scheveningen's violet will give us the slightly more muted, and warmer purples with a red shade, and the dioxazine mauve gives us stronger, more saturated and also cooler violets with a blue shade. And when we combine them, we can mix the full purple spectrum, from cool to warm. I hope this video helps. Thank you.